right. I am putting Mite Away Quick Strips on. I'm doing quick inspections to make sure they're clean right and that they have some food. If they need to have some food on them. You don't want to feed inside when uh, you have this formic acid on. So say the instructions. Um, I have found one that wasn't clean right that I gave a queen to and did not treat because they were already broodless. So that's going to affect the uh, mite population. I'm not spending a lot of time looking for the queen. I just want to see eggs. And I'm pulling any honey supers off that have honey that can be harvested. A lot of them don't have that much, so I'm leaving them on. I want to start open feeding in this yard. I don't want them to adulterate any honey I want to try to harvest. Um, so I want to pull off any boxes that I'm going to try to take. But if they've just got a little bit in them, which most of them so far have had, and I'm trying to leave them back on top, I'm adding the other deep, because I want to go to California with double deeps. Um, so I'm putting them on. It's They are um, checkerboarded with drawn comb and foundation which gives them more space to spread out in which the formic acid needs the bees will get out and beard and try to get away from it make more room and that helps it work to give it enough space to really spread around in there so i think that'll help to have that extra box on them on top of it and then when i start feeding i'm expecting them to Start drawing that out and filling it up. All right, finally got into a little open brood. I do see some eggs. She's not laying up much, but we're off the flow. And that's why I need to start feeding them so they can continue to build. I'll tell you what, the use of this pin light has sure helped for finding eggs. Because if you're in a spot like I'm in right now where you're in the shade, you can't get the sunlight in there like you want. All right, we've seen eggs. That's enough to know we still have a queen. Um, I believe this is an older queen. And the bag says that they may supersede her. If she's not quality queen so I'll get back in and reinspect when the treatments over so these come in a foil bag that you open up take them out of they are two slimy strips of gel um, it is acid you really don't want it on you they say to wear gloves long sleeve shirts eye protection um, doesn't say anything about respirator but it does smell there's a lot of odor to it all right I need to run and grab my other deep So this extra deep will give them some more space to spread out in. Now I'm going to put the super back on top that they had. It has a little bit of food in it, but not much. So they'll still have some feed. And there we go. So have been treated for mites. I'm taking out my old oxalic acid treatment. And some of these still had the old 
uh, Swedish sponges and you can see what I meant when they start falling apart just crumbling to pieces um, that's why I don't like them I just didn't get these changed out for the others there's still oxalic acid in them though they're still functioning but they were quite a bit more money and they don't uh, move around very well so anyhow got a lot of them to get through and get after it